Welcome to the channel Mr. John Infratech Creations. In this video, we will know about different types of materials used in house construction and how the material rate is calculated. First of all, let us know what is the current material rate in the market. If we talk about the average rate, we have the range from 1200 rupees to 1500 rupees square feet in the market. Please note, listeners, the rates vary on the basis of availability and quality of material. Let us understand the calculation with the help of an example. If a house roof is of dimension 20 by 50 feet, total area comes to 1000 square feet which is 20 multiplied by 50. Total amount spent would be 1000 multiplied by 1200 rupees that is 12 lakh rupees only as the cost of house construction in this case contractor is responsible for all the labor work and the material the owner has to just keep a check on the quality of work done and is it being done as per the clauses laid down in agreement or not that was about calculation of cost. Now it's time to know about materials. First of all, there are two types of materials used. Number one, raw materials like stones, bricks, rhodi, cement, iron, etc. Next, finishing materials like doors, windows, PVC fitting, wires, paints, etc. The most important and the primary raw material is iron. There are various brands which you will come across like Rati, um, Kamdenu, Mangla or Tata Company. Following points should be noted. Quantity should be used as per the engineer's layout. While purchasing iron, one should personally visit and conduct the weighing in front of oneself. Most importantly, the iron should not be old or rusted. Select a dealer who has a good rotation of iron stock and there is no dead stock with him. Next important material is sand. The best sand is river sand. Crusher sand could be a replacement for river sand. Everything here depends on the nearest river to your city or area. Make use of sand as per its availability. Let us know about the raw material cement. Different brands are available as per different region. While purchasing cement bags, kindly check the date of packaging, ISI mark and whether the bag is properly sealed or not. Check the bags by touching it to check whether the cement is loose and fine or in the blocked form. In case of any doubts, do not purchase the bags. In rainy season, the vehicle carrying the cement bag should be covered so that they do not get wet. Next in the list is the bricks. Bricks are available in different names in different regions. Mostly red bricks are used in house constructions. Bricks are available in different numbers, for example, one number, two number, three number on the basis of level of baking. The channel recommends to use number one bricks, no matter it is a bit costly. The benefit you will get from this is that there will be less broken pieces and finishing will be also good. Let us now go on to next raw material that is rhodi which is made by breaking big stones to smaller one also known as gravel. As per your area, conduct a survey on which mountain stones are good in this regard. Gravel of blue stones are recommended by the channel. Choose from the sizes namely 0 mm, 10 mm, 20 mm and 40 mm. Keep a check whether the mud or any other material is not mixed with gravel. 
Next, we will talk about the stones which are used in the foundation of a house. The channel advises not to use round shaped stones. Instead, stones of square shape should be used so that the masonry work could be done quickly. The various color in which stones are available are white, blue and red. Arrange for small size stone beforehand so that time and material are not wasted on breaking of bigger stones. Another main raw material is water which should be drinkable also that means having less level of fluoride. Use of such water has many benefits like setting of cement happens quickly. Fluoride free water will strengthen the plaster. Iron will not rust and roof will be stronger. Ray paint and putty work will be durable and will last for many years and the cost on repair maintenance will be reduced. The various sources of water can be rain water, river water or boring water. These were the main raw materials used in house constructions. Now it is time to move on to the next type of material. Finishing materials. First we will talk about flooring tiles which have various varieties namely vitrified marble, double charge or quota stone. The choice depends upon your budget. It is advisable to order 2-3 boxes of bathroom tiles extra so that in future if there is any need during maintenance you have stock in hand without worrying for its availability in the market. The advisable size of bathroom tiles can be 12 by 18 or 12 by 24. If you want to know the market rates of the material, put your comments in the comment box. Next, we will talk about the doors which come in various varieties namely marine, marine flush doors and wooden doors. PVC doors or aluminium doors are advisable for bathrooms as regular use of water makes usage of wooden doors an unsuccessful choice. Let us now discuss next material which is windows. Different types of woods are used namely marindi, ivory, teak with iron or aluminium sections. It is advisable to keep a check on size which can be 4x4 four four or 6x6 six six, and ventilation so that your house get enough natural light and air. Next topic is the framework of windows and doors which are usually made of wood, iron or stone. If you are using the stone then it is advisable to use the white stone. Wardrobes are very important part in finishing phase of a house. Wardrobes and its partition should be as per your requirements. The covering of wardrobe should be of iron which nullifies the problem of termites. If you find the information in the video useful like Comment and share the video and subscribe the channel so that notifications reach you timely. Next, we will talk about wires and wiring. Use only ISI 9001 certified wires. Wires should be selected as per your requirement of size load. Switch MCB should be ISI certified. Beware of local and uncertified switches and MCBs. Use iron or wooden boxes only. 
it is advisable to make the points as per your requirements so that beauty of the house and money is not unnecessarily spoiled or wasted next we will talk about the kitchen in case of modular kitchen follow the engineer's advice and layout make marble partition as per your requirement granite slab can be of black green and pink colors sink should be isi marked and there should be points for geyser ro pvc tank now we will talk about bathroom the size and the tile design should be as per your requirement all the fittings points of geyser should be pre-decided so that the work goes on smoothly the accessories like bathroom towel hanger uh, soap dish wash basin should be all pre-decided pvc tank in bathroom should be always slightly big right so design your bathroom beautifully as per your requirement next we will talk about paint make note of following before starting the paint work do pop in the inner side of the house birla putti isi certified on the outer side then only go for the paint work and afterwards paint work of doors and windows should be undertaken finally let us discuss front elevation follow architects layout and see 3d print beforehand you can go for black white or pink stone with intricate designs or iron or aluminium can be also used if it is a commercial building then acp work can also be done that's all in this video about the raw materials and the rates and the finishing materials the channel hopes the information was useful to the listeners